was on the cross, the new Adam, who's beneath the cross, Mary, the new Eve. What's going to happen? Nuptials. The consummation of a marriage. So the blessed Lord looks down to his mother at the foot of the cross and says to the spouse, woman, and then to John, there's your son. And to John, the son of Zebedee, there's your mother. This idea of marriage and nuptials which is carried over into the New Testament, is now initiated in the New Testament on the cross. As St. Augustine put it, the heavenly bridegroom comes from out his chambers with the presage of the nuptials before him. He comes to the marriage bed of the cross and there consummates his marriage not on with pleasure but with pain and unites himself to the woman forever. In other words, the Blessed Mother stands for the beginning of the church. Our Lord is the head of the church. He's the spouse, she's the bride. And there's already the beginning of the church, beginning of a family, it's John. Then at Pentecost, what do you find? You find how the family has grown. There are 120 there at Pentecost. And the Blessed Mother and the Apostles in the midst of them all. So that you married people, when you came to the altar, you were told. The bridegroom was told, you stand for Christ. And the bride was told, you stand for the church. So what we're happening, what is we see here, therefore is the beginning of the church in which Christ now is the head of the church the heavenly bridegroom the blessed mother is the beginning of the church the new Eve and as many children came from Eve so many children now are coming from Mary and this is the reason why women cannot be priests Because it is man who gives the seed. The woman says, I mean, our blessed Lord says, the word is the seed. For example, I am giving you the word now. I'm giving you the word that is the seed of life. That was what Christ was doing. And who was the Blessed Mother? The Blessed Mother receives the seed, the woman receives the seed, nourishes it, fosters it, brings it to life, educates it, loves it. There is no question here of inferiority or superiority. Let's get it straight. It's a differentiation of function. Man provides the seed, the woman receives it. And this originated at the cross. Then never, never call the church an establishment. It's the body of Christ. It's his bride. When we get to heaven, what, what, where are we going to be? We're going to be at a marriage. The nuptials of the bridegroom and the bride. And we even have in the book of Revelation a description of how the bride or the church is dressed in the linen of the prayers of the saints. Then there's a description of the way the heavenly bridegroom Christ is dressed. <laughs>